Ice up. Ice what? Whoa, whoa, baby. Poke it out. Poke it out. Poke it out. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. So before I even start, I'm gonna let you guys know that uh, this is a rant. <laughs> uh, this isn't really too much of a structured video, even though a lot of my videos aren't really structured. But I'm not gonna be reading off a script or or you know using statistics or anything. I'm gonna be going off of pure knowledge and what we've learned over the past you know couple of months of off season. Um, the the feeling of rage that struck me to go and make this video was um, a bunch of wars in Instagram com Instagram comment sections about whether the Saints got better or worse um, during this off season, which I think is a ridiculous question because the answer is fairly obvious. But people tend to believe that their opinions are right when they're not. So we're going to talk about how the Saints got better this off season and didn't deteriorate or decline at all. Because for some reason, it is a general con misconception that we for some somehow got worse. Um, but let's get into it. Need so when you look at the way the 2019 or 20 yeah the 2019 offseason is going, you can see that we have been assessing a lot of our needs going off of things that happen, right? Uh, Mark Ingram didn't accept the offer. We we signed Latavius Murray. Max Unger retired. We got Nick Easton. You get it. There's a pattern. Um, but. There are a lot of things we gained without having to take any losses either. That is that is that is the thing that people have been uh, irking my nerves with. So yeah, let's let's get into the first couple of things. Getting your play. So when you look at the pieces we lost this offseason, you can count Mark Ingram and you can count Max Unger. Mark Ingram was a player that was splitting role, the splitting carries with Alvin Kamara, even though he was an eight season veteran, he was still splitting carries with the second year player, Alvin Kamara. So how good is he really? He complimented Alvin Kamara very well, and Alvin Kamara complimented him very well, but as we've seen within the first four games of last season mark wasn't necessary alvin kamara turned into a full 100 percent nfl star in the four, for first four games of last season and played out of his mind okay uh, mark ingram didn't get into the full swing of things afterwards because he just didn't he wasn't needed he wasn't necessary um of course he could do his little third down third and one runs you know third and short second and short his short yardage runs but alvin kamara was very obviously the workhorse back so saying we lost a huge asset in mark ingram is a little bit redundant i don't like when people say that because it's not true regardless of the fact that we did lose mark ingram we did lose a guy that split carries with alvin kamara but we went and re-signed latavia we went and signed picked up latavius murray who it has the same kind of skill set with Mark Inger, but he's more athletic, more agile, and bigger um, in height, height-wise. So he can do the same thing. Mark Inger wasn't 100% necessary, so f getting someone to fill that role that he did have, how does that hurt us? I, I'm genuinely confused. The thing these people are right about, though, is we did suffer a little bit from losing Max Unger. When you lose a Pro Bowl anything... Um, thus being a Pro Bowl center, you're going to hurt a little bit. It stings. Yes, losing Max Unger was not something we wanted to do, but we quickly went out and signed center Nick Easton. Nick Easton has shown a lot of promise over the last couple of years. Uh, he was getting beat up a little bit, but he's only 26. It happens to the young players. Young players get tossed around, man. He just needs to get a feel. And playing for that offensive line that has been so bounded together over the past year and a half or two, or two will help him dearly. Um, Nick Easton has a lot of potential to blossom into a very nice, reliable center. We also have Cameron Tom and Will Clapp behind him in case there needs to be some type of competition to get their guys' motivational spirits going. We didn't lose too much from losing Max Unger, but it is going to affect us a little bit. I'm thinking three or four extra sacks, but... I digress. Drew Brees can take a hit. It's fine. Losing a center is always going to be painful, but it's not going to stop us from getting to the Super Bowl, and it did not at all handicap our offense. So people that use that as a focal point of how we got worse are just flat-out stupid, ignorant people that do not understand the game of football. This is a next-man-up sport. Whenever you lose someone, you get a replacement. That's how it works. The replacement may not always be as good, but, I mean... Max Unger was coached into being a good player. 
Nick Easton can be coached by our offensive line coach. I have literally not a doubt in the world that our coaching staff cannot bring all these players we have back to standard. I'm telling you. I don't have any doubts. Nick Easton, you're going to shine. Bro, Latavius Murray, good job replacing Mark Ingram. You're going to do great. Everything's fine. We didn't lose any assets. We didn't lose anything. Now we get to move on to the fun part of which we gained. So we lost two things, replaced both of them, and then gained a few more things that I'm about to get into. The first thing we gained is Malcolm Brown. We gained another set in stone, solid defensive tackle to go along with Sheldon Rankins. Where's the decrease in talent there? We added a defensive tackle from the New England Patriots that's capable of getting sacks. Where? I don't understand how we got worse, man. Y'all people that are on Instagram, all that, everyone that isn't a Saints fan, y'all are delusional. Y'all are delusional. Malcolm Brown is going to be so solid, solidifying our defensive line even more. With Sheldon Rankins being out, Malcolm Brown is going to be his replacement with whoever is on the other side of him being there while Sheldon Rankins is out. But once Sheldon Rankins comes back, we're going to have Sheldon Rankins, who's coming off of an eight-sack season, and Malcolm Brown, who's capable of getting four, five, six, seven-plus sacks a season. Guys, our defensive line is so stacked, it's not even funny. And adding a player like that, oh, ordinary. Guys, the loss we took, though, was the loss of Alex Okafor that I completely forgot to mention because it's that irrelevant. We lost Alex Okafor, but guess what? We signed Mario Edwards Jr., his replacement. I'm telling you, there is not a single hole in this team that left that didn't get filled back up with equal or better talent. And there's no way you guys can skew my opinion on that whatsoever. We're fine. We are fine. Another addition we made, the biggest addition of the entire offseason, is signing and filling the biggest hold on our team prior to the signing, tight end Jared Cook. Tight end Jared, 800 yards and six touchdowns last season? Oh yeah, just, just give him to Drew Brees. Give him to the guy that is capable of throwing 40 touchdowns and 5,000 yards whenever he pleases. Go ahead, give him to Drew. Giving, uh, giving us another receiving threat opens up so much no more double teaming michael thomas that man jared cook is a seam beast there is no way we are getting stopped on the offensive side of the ball this season and that's just facts i'm telling you sign jared cook malcolm brown mario edwards jr latavius murray nick easton we're done right if you guys didn't we signed punt returner marcus sherrill's filling another need we had from um, Tommy Lee Lewis leaving. And if you guys didn't know, Tommy Lee Lewis, um, our average punt return distance was like 12 yards. Tommy Lee Lewis was garbage. This gives us one of the best return man in return men in the entire league. In, in the entire league. So you give us one of the best return men, one of the top tight ends, a great defensive tackle, a solid center, a nice defensive end to go to replace Alex Okafor. What do you get? A team that's better than it was before. Give us Latavius Murray. I'm taking it. 2020 season. Saints 2019 to 2020 season. Super Bowl 54 champions. You heard it from me first. I don't care. I'm going to be making an in-depth video like I did last year in July. Going over how I think we're going to win the Super Bowl. So don't take my opinion. Um... Not seriously. Uh, we got so close last year. I'm doing it again, baby. We're going all the way. Saints, we got it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do you guys think we got better or worse from last season? Comment down below. Do you think we got um, any gained and more positive things than we lost negative things? I want to hear your opinions right now. Go comment them. I think we got better. We lost three players and re-signed everybody to, to fix that spot. Man, we're about to be nice next year. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said before, subscribe if you're new and thank you. And, and yeah, bye.